तुम्हें यह ठूल कैमरा मन पर्व कि सानो कालो कैमरा मन पर्व कुछ मन पर्व तेरे ठूल चाहिए क्या Tenzing is a five-year-old Nepalese boy. He lives in Pokhara. Pokhara is one of the most beautiful cities of Nepal. It lays beneath a, a huge mountain from like seven thousand meters. So it's like really like a, a, a valley town with a beautiful lake. <laughs> How how I would describe Tenzing? Um, very stubborn young boy. <laughs> He does his own thing. There's no way to direct him, and that also like we wouldn't want to do that. But so happy and and proud when he holds the camera, and when he does something that he loves. I watched this documentary two years ago on Apple TV. Uh, it's called Becoming You. So every episode explains like this, a different part of, of 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 growing up as a kid. So the first steps or the first friends. But then also there was one episode they talked about um, how certain type of children could develop uh, an obs obsession or fixation for a specific thing. So it could be cars, Barbies. But then also the, the, they follow this kid that loves photography, and he happens to to live in, in 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 Nepal. Like they show him going around town making pictures, but they also show what he shoots. And I was really like amazed by 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 how the, those images looked. Um, and then I watched this like one and a half year ago, and then I was like, okay, at one moment in my life, I'm gonna go there and meet him and shoot with him, and do like a fashion series. We went to Nepal and we arrived on the airport. Of course, we are prepared, but we cannot prepare him. We cannot prepare uh, like we didn't have any casting. There was like there was a production, but it was not. There were no locations. There was you know like it was all super like instinctive, like really like guerrilla style. Yes, look. Get the photo. Yes. <laughs> so we arrived and we went to to meet Tenzing, and the first encounter I, I, I still remember. He was very shy, so because he was living in the new city for not like around I think like one or two months yet. So it was not. He was very like fresh in a group of kids. So he was very shy, and he in the beginning I, we just hoped, like fingers crossed, that he would still love the camera. You know. And the first five minutes, he was like so shy. I was like, yeah, I don't know if, if I want to use the camera. And I looked at Evie and I was like, okay, <laughs> this is this can go wrong. But like, we cannot force someone. So we we're like really like, okay, and take your time. And then after five minutes, like he grabbed the camera and like the other kids, like they 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 understood that he was making pictures and like it went like as a as a tornado. Then the next day we came back and he was like so proud already. Because all those kids, they they realized that he was like the special person within his group, so he like was very proud and like he, he took the camera and like was like directing people like go, get out of the way like do this and do this. It was basically a kid running around with this AZ factory. I think it's a dress. He was just running around, <laughs> rounds and rounds and rounds, like like I think 20 times. And Tenzing was like following him with the camera and like running, like you know, it looks like a like a like a like they were just having fun. But then because he shoots so many images, there's there's so many great images from this moment. And this is for me, it's like an abstract image. It's really like an artistic uh, point of view, and it's just like it shows that you can even as a as a child you can create whatever you want. You know, like it's really about perspective. Me and Ibi, uh, Ibi is a set designer and creative. Uh, we prepared basically all the ideas. So the idea was to like li really like put scenarios in front of the kid and let him photograph it. And it's like all scenarios that would happen around his village, his world, his his town. We would have like a full scenario happening in front of him with kids playing badminton or like ping pong. But then he would turn around and make pictures of 
of the dog or like of the view no, yeah. or of the of a bird or like a plane in the sky so it, it, he the thing is he really loves making pictures it doesn't matter what he was photographing <laughs> So in the beginning, it was quite hard to actually dress the children because we won't want, we don't want to force them. We just were like, oh, do you like to wear this and go in the picture? And they were like, yeah, no, I don't know, I don't know. We brought like the most colorful, texturized, fun clothing to Nepal. Uh, so the, the, the suitcase opened and the kids saw it. And there was one kid who like put like a skirt on his head. And then like in the split second after, like five other kids would grab other things. And then at a certain point there were like children running around this town with like dressing up. And like we had the Tenzing photographing these kids. So it was like kind of like a big dress up party. It's really them styling themselves actually. And that's actually the, the funny thing about it, playing around with it as it's just a prop, you know? It was a really special moment and yeah, a bit emotional as well. When we left, like we all like we all were almost crying, like okay, what like it was such a special moment, just like pure joy of, of children. I think that's really like a motivation for, for me to to keep going on, do these kind of special projects, find those like small stories and bring them to a global level. And for him, it's also like he really, like he grew in those three days that we were we were working with him. Like he grew from like a kid to like a photographer. 